Now, before I start, can I ask the audience to clap their hands five times for me? <laughs> then three times. <laughs> then five times again. It's amazing to consider how much power is in the spoken word. Then add position to those words, whether it be physical or situational, and people are compelled to do what they're told. There are over a million words in the English language, and that number keeps expanding. Words have the power, sorry, and that number keeps expanding. Words can be used to compel, amuse, instruct, heal, or harm. Throughout our lives, we've been taught the basic art of language. It distinguishes us as civilized, intelligent. Throughout our lives, we've been taught the basic art of language. Words can be used to compel, amuse, instruct, heal, or harm. That's not bad. My bad about that. I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. But each word has purpose, and each phrase has meaning. A message to convey, our words can be used as beautiful decorations to incite destruction or cultivate peace. So why have we underestimated this power that God has given us? By what reasoning do we believe that words only live on paper or in our thoughts, but fail to comprehend the transitioning to the material world? Because our words have power. Our words have the power to manifest the brightest benevolent actions or the deepest, darkest fears. So what are your words filled with? Hate, love, bitterness, blessing, victory or defeat? Who are you? What do you value? How do you convey what you believe? Our actions emanate from our thoughts. Our thoughts are a reflection of what we want to achieve. We attempt to say with our mouths that virtue is the intent of our words, but the impact of those words betray the, the truth of the heart. Because our words have power. In this day and time, it's critical for us to be careful of our words. Gone is the time of internal prejudice, veiled as jokes and shared between close friends and family is tolerable. Recordings, posts, tweets has caused the world to be drunken with hurtful, harmful words. Talking but not communicating. Words for the sake of words. There is no reverence for the power that lies within the tongue. We want to share every fit of rage, every nonsensical thought because we can. But just because you have the ability to speak and a platform of listeners does not mean you should because our words have power. Hmm. Wise men speak because they have something to say, but fools because they have to say something. It is when we censor ourselves that our speech is truly free. Free from negative connotations, free to liberate us and those that have a benefit of experiencing careful word selection, thoughtful phrasing, that encourages us all to do better, to be better. Ignorance is too bold for arrogant hearts to withhold. But humble empathy reflects love and respect that we can all see, regardless of the race, class, or creed. So as I look around at all of us, it's funny to believe that we have ammo in our mouth. Our words locked and loaded in the chamber of our lips. People firing off rounds with their steady quick quips, wanting to prove a point when really none really exists. So our fight ends when we pick up our books and thoughtfully raise our pens. When we declare our voice and know that people will comprehend. Talk to strangers as if they were our friends, knowing when to be silent so no violence ever begins. Thank you very much.